you can probably guess what's coming. Yeah, it sucks not having outside to a certain degree, but when you have everything else, it's not that big of a deal anymore. You're going to start looking for this flank. Also, I might just walk right into it. Yeah, they need to win a fight. If you can somehow land this henchman, so it seems very unlikely, then at least that would open some things up. It's not that um, start easy guessing again. 30 seconds on the clock. They're going to bring a bomb down. I guess going as a group makes a lot of sense here. And then leaving Hazard to, if, if this first fight goes that way, then they could do something. Grenade. Put that a little bit behind. It actually does a fair bit of damage. That's incredibly effective. That flashbang is a perfect angle that causes them to turn so we can take that fight. He gets first as well. When the ball is off and there's a good flight, this is still doable. This is going to be so dangerous. That's the kill. That should be the round. Six seconds left. All the might just want to run away. Or just hide in the corner. Because you can't do anything. There's not enough time for the plan. You don't want to lose that weapon. Nicely done from EG. Sam just plays such an important role because as much as he's all the information that does this one right here, yeah. he gets the information, there's no risk to him. And he can choose how to play that because they're not going to set the punish. Yeah, that flash frame would seem better in slow motion as well. That's absolutely right. They have to turn around for us. Having some, final... some good rounds in the past. This map with JK and Vent Diving. That's like an odd form, isn't it? Is that bad? Yeah. But everyone can do it. No, but everyone's at least gotten to a certain level of proficiency in it. But to be one of the truly legendary gun divers. Yeah. Same thing. Never get that smoke, you know, blind, can't see anything. I'd be interested in, in that kind of a play. That's something that's always fun. And you, you know, if the if CC is caught off guard, if sometimes you don't even notice, you just think, oh, no one came through, right? And then it's just one guy with the CC. Getting a bit close there. Tarek, he's got some backup in circuit. That's good. He's actually playing anti flash. So, Sir's actually doing a good job of being located at the point of contact. So, you have a chance here. Matter of time. Because Stannis is all the way up by 20 right now, so they know that no one is out there. This is very, very interesting. So that's probably also one of the reasons why Sir can even be here. Good luck. No, that's the leg. Oh, second guy coming through, so hey, just no entry here at all. And JKS wanted to see if he could sneak his way through. Yes, technically he did. And we'll find a kill on three, so make it a little bit expensive. That still, that still kind of matters. You probably wish you had the bomb, but... Yeah, that would be nice. Terry's kind of got to stick around or Ethan to get the MVP on Sir. And his drops and see if he's got it. Terry's pushed all the way up and... Yeah, this off angle yeah, is really good, right? One kill, many shot. The rifle that's up close is turned away from any potential flashbang. Now building money up on the EG side. Certainly getting some cash flow behind these victories. 7,000 on ETH, 8,000 on Tarek. The op, Cirque, 3,300 in the bank. And Santa's only getting pushed up. Here's those footsteps. He did this last time. He knows they didn't see it. Oh, and if Cirque can cover the silo or the Twinkie, then he didn't have to worry about looking up. Yeah, just focus on this. Smoke goes up. They didn't know that he did this last time, so I'm still going to be a bit paranoid about it, but this is looking a lot better. So, he does get taken down, but no one has spotted Stan. And unlike the previous round, this is no longer an MP9. Oh, he gets caught a couple of is That is a second away. If they don't check it, if JKS isn't there, that's going to probably be the round. So, chance, there's still Ethan down below. This better be a god tier sequence from him. No one else can even be involved in the action, although Breeze could drop down vents pretty quickly. If that's possible, he's going to stop dropping, but Ethan did not get enough done. It's not going to slow anything out, and Breeze is hesitating for the moment. Ethan now transitioning into the bomb, so he can delay a little bit longer. He's smoking on his bomb, and Terry, being a real teammate, running through the fire to try and get the help out. He does go down, and he will wind up running that spray and a double, but it might not have been enough here. Breeze, I think Ethan has to get a little bit lucky. They close the door behind him, and that's the first of uh, these games. You know, I'm kind of used to last year at the major when we started realizing that this is really important. Yeah, it's going be a deadly team. And the JKS, obviously, Jacob has been very consistent, so that's a very cool step on this team, and it's going to be some challenging here. I'm doing 13 to 8, just a five round lead. 28 for a splash for better sanction. That's actually freakishly weird. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're getting we're getting some information. He's had that many flashbangs, in fact, his crits, but only one flash assist. So 28. Opponents flashed, only one of them has led to a kill. That was actually so close to circling that ridiculous shot. You don't do that nearly on from this version of you. I assume the Alpers are really in that position to just spam that, that wall. Three from both sides. Yeah. Flash out, Ethan, sitting around the corner. JKS, he was covering them last time and successfully saw against Stanislaw. Trying to do the same against Ethan, he'll get it one more time. That's such a nice feeling of JKS, just knowing that, you know, that worked out again. Well, they've been so quiet getting to the lower bomb site that Santa Claus is down there just chilling. But this is a one and done spot. Yeah. Maybe not even that. <laughs> yeah, it, that's if you get one. You're certainly not getting two. Tarek has now joined up with him. Yeah. And if he smokes up the door, we're not going to get down here to lower. Could go lower. But this might be perfect. Breeze is waiting by the vents. He can get a double kill as they, as they fly up. Certainly, JKS, somebody would eliminate him. But if they put this out, that's going to be a good second. Decent damage done coming up. Heaven is the off. He needs to take one off. The ball is all forces him away. And EG must go for this. It's a three on three retake. Yeah, they, they need to. They're running out of rounds out here. 
so climbing the ladder, tearing coming in from outside, and he needs to win the first battle against Jacob. And a bit of an angle. Actually, Jacob trying to see if he can take anything away from him. Terry firing a couple of bullets, but he's down immediately. A two on two, and now they're back for a bit more. Only flashbangs left on the feet side. Nias was spotted out, checking and seeing no one. Now they're going to play for time instead, and that might be very clever, except for the fact that there is a lot of time. That's keeping both the players back. There's a smoke as well. What do they do? A lot of pressure suddenly put on them. So he's covering that one. He actually gets dinked, and they'll get the follow up. But the gun is inside. I think that just might be they had the kid on him. Stand in me. Starts here. Breeze with a double kill. That transfer over is so important. And Terry, that kill kind of looked a little bit silly, but he's obviously trying to keep the attention that direction for a flashbang to come in. Didn't he the way he would have liked? So kind of hit on them, but you think through the through the walls of aim punches off the off the rails. And I'm gonna get tested now with the coming to ground. You see that one of the road for what's right is huge. And then so sneaking in a kill. So they were already ahead on what Terry had done, but now it's looking great. I can't even you can't begin to say how good of a performance that was in that sequence from Terry because he was spotted out. They knew he was along that left wall. That was a hard clear, so to win that initial fight is massive and to get a second one is incredible. Two on four, gratisfaction and JKS to have to defend against four players and plenty of utility. They need a lot more than luck to make this work. Not a grand fashion, he's going to take it down. He's into your economy. It's just, it's so, it's weird. Like, Don Abuse is winning. There's so many of the stats in this game so far. They're 14 to 9 in opening duels. They have 24 multi kill rounds in their players. He has 17. They, you know, they have so many things in their favor at the moment. It's, it's not converting into uh, any wins in this side just yet. 23 kills on Aza still. Just three more rounds. That's the explosion for the goal. He is not running immediately for that time, even though we were at CCI. He's just waiting for a fan to The artist at work, just avoiding the grenades. It's quickly down there. Now, they're definitely going to be thinking about it. They should have someone who's at least worried about it. But let's see if they can handle it uh, defensively. Who is going to be the person to, to take it upon himself to learn? And Terry is looking for it, so I guess it's him. Terry is looking for it. Santa's Mons in the warehouse. They don't actually have anyone down here except for Terry. This is a tense moment for Terry coming in. If he gets eliminated, and there's so many places that JKS could be. He's their only defender. Now the rest of the team is showing up, but they're walking. So Santa's one was out in the garage. He can't even hear them to really call it in. They obviously knew about the smoke wall, but... Oh, this is a disaster. Yeah. Look how exposed Eric is. Might be a cheeky angle for some peek in the window, but... That's about it. He is ready to fight. Kind of a beacon <laughs> up on top of the radioactive material here. 35 seconds, and I don't know, it's going to be shot at from all angles. If he gets killed, that's, that's going to be pretty good. If he gets more than that, he's an absolute hero. Waiting for it now. Molly coming to the door. That's actually buying a fair bit of time now. Back up is going to start to show up. He's still up here. I don't think he's realizing that he could be right behind him. He does go down to the but that, that's so little time on the clock. 15 seconds now. As they start to come through, JKS will get dropped, and they need a bomb on here. 10 seconds. Grenade. Not going to stop that from happening, unfortunately. It's a pretty good grenade, though. And now they're starting to clean it up. Jacob with a huge double kill. Might be another round here for 100 thieves. Clean headshot, but still two on three, and they have still some uh, some grenades left there on the T side. Breeze trying to sneak in. Wins one more fight, but he can't go for it. Don't have the for it. Now you back away now on 3G. You have the op, you have the creed, you have the money as well to buy in the next round. So a nice attempt at that defense, but and it is, again, it's almost like, wow, that's fair play to Terra could didn't actually get a kill, but the fact that he just stayed poised and alive in that scenario with all the utility coming in. I mean, I would almost say John Bob Dunn is just in terms of all of you know, it's just a small task, but... Remember how the Evil Geniuses started this half? They had, they had Cirque pushing Ram Room in the first round of the AWP. We've seen Sam push on side twice, close to the boxes two or three times. So you can do it. This is one of those rounds where there was no, no aggression whatsoever. So yeah, Terrick was down there pretty early. But there was never any information to get a second player group up with him. They could have played much more aggressive if they had the information. Good shot from Cirque. Good smoke, but JKS was the one who really put a wrench in the defense in the previous round. So the vet dive is denied. Yeah, that happened this time. Stanislaw was never destroyed in that position out in the garage, so he's going to stick around and just hold that. On the rest, it looked like they want to try and test this ramp room. Terry has been fantastic in here. He's got an HG grenade, but then again, always just on timing and loading lands on top of three people. That's all the damage, and he'll get to clean up one more. It's still well worth it. Think I'm connecting, but yeah, four versus three. And they need to slow it down here, EG. They have the advantage right now. He's just dropping the vents. Stanislaw still hasn't budged from the warehouse. He might want to start investigating, get some movement going. He's got a big job to do. Smoke out of every single choke point. Bomb is going to get planted. They'll have a retake in their hands. There's four kits, two Molotovs, a smoke, plenty of flashbangs. EG has everything they need to win this round. Yeah, they really do. There's nothing on 100 feet either. Very unlikely they can get to that point with just this Molotov in the corner and force it out. He actually does live, but only for a second. And now it's on as of in this corner in a one versus three. And then just firing through the box. Why not? That was just a question of having enough rifles on the other side. And it will be 14 11 instead. Just three rounds back. 19 kills on Tarek, 19 kills on Sir. They've been delivering. And this time, Santa's Law, deep nades behind Jacob, a lot of damage done from those two nades. 
that's going to be annoying. And they, then they're not there anymore. The question is, how much energy and time do our cities spend now looking around this yacht area? When you get made a bend deep, I feel like it's 10 seconds for you to worry about. They've done a good job of doing this, of getting three, four players towards secret, and JKS just watching for some kind of cheeky lurk play. He's had a couple kills. Santa's already downstairs this round. Cirque outside with an op looking for someone to push towards heaven, someone to push towards mini. It's not going to happen. Look how far Tarek is. So they know no one is at least outside, and, and they kind of know that no one is pushing towards ramp. Again, all the pressure on Stanislaw on this defense to at least his spawn, to at least not die. And he's pretty fit with that peak. He's immediate dink. Molotov can slow him down, but he's calling it out at the moment. They can transition into the if they choose to, so Breeze has to be careful. He's put on notice, and now Tarek rotates down ramp. 35 seconds. And they can't really easily go up the vent. I mean, that's always going to be a huge risk if they keep going here. They've been spotted already. They're low on time. One more grenade can absolutely shut it down. Tarek, if you don't jumping down, there's a huge crossfire being set up here. Now more grenades are in towards that window room. As a, he wants to post open that door and try and see if he get the early kill. Tarek looking the other way. Make a shot of the back. Surely there's a tree coming. 11 seconds in the bomb. Oh, we now pick up and actually do it. No, no one's picked up. Six seconds left. In. Yeah, not going to be a bomb part here. Almost like he could have shot Ethan through the wall there, but not going to get the chance. It will be another round. One kill. That was it. Yeah. I thought they would be much more effective. There's not enough time to deal with this. They ran it down very low. And Evil Genius is able to just apply pressure, not even get all the kills, just the pressure that forced other thieves away from the objective. That triple from Ethan is essentially nuts. He was solo on both when they when he got that final fight. If he'd gone down, that was it. 14 to 12, though. Money again, the lack of the bomb plants. Keep coming back to it now. It's, it's robbing them of just a couple of rifle rounds here. And it's so close now. 14 to 12. They can start to feel the pressure all of a sudden. This has got to be so stressful. Same thing on the previous map. This will be a series that they look back on. If they can't win this, then they'll be absolutely gutted. They didn't convert either of these maps into a victory. 10 to 5 in the first half of Inferno. 12 to 3 in the first half here on Nuke. Yeah, they'll give you that, well, what will it take then kind of feeling? You know, how much do we have to win in the first half for actually a, a map to be going our way? Tarek, it's like a job of damage and not going down. That's that's pretty much what you want playing that ramp room. And I like the I like the discipline between him and Sir Tarek just to fall down to the lower bombs and Sir not to try and press the issue and be over aggressive with Dre WP. Tarek looking for some kind of a gap in the smoke. It's him and Breeze downstairs. That's it. The rest of BG sure to follow as the plant goes down. So jumping down, this whole army waiting for him. Four versus two now. And if they can just keep it cool here on the and not give them any easy challenges, then they might have that 15th round. This breeze dropping next and nothing easy to do about this. Wow. On a ball of rounds where they've been close, it's a round with a Kree and some Look at the money. Yeah. Look at the money on EG. They got absolutely nothing. This is a kick in the balls. I don't know how you recover from this. Is EG played that perfectly. They just missed kills. That's just, that's just multiple fails. And it speaks to how close they've been for many of the rounds here that they've brought the economy so low that. The gate starts kicking in. Yeah, it's rough. You're like, oh, that one wasn't too bad. This will be fine. <laughs> and then you just can't stand. And now, and then it all, all happens. World crumbles around you. It starts to get dark. All right. We're up to 15. If not, we'll come back for EG. And uh, they they stumble right at the end. One and four. One Famas. And upgraded pistols is what they have to fight with. And I'm pretty sure they spotted Santa as well. He was suddenly thinking about it. He was, he was a Santa. I thought he would have caught a shoulder. We're coming. Right. Santa's been playing on here like two or three times at least, so they might be, they're going to be paranoid no matter what. See if you can see them go to the field. No one setting themselves yet. Smoke wall goes up, he's hoping, but no success. Again, they leave the JKS behind. And again, they've been able, I mean, just pretty similar to, I guess, each, I don't mean, know. Yeah, they're just getting access to this bombsite pretty much whenever they want it, and they haven't really encountered a whole lot of resistance around these corners. EG has been fighting at this staircase, but it's been passive. Now they at least have a crossfire set up, but it's a promise and a deagle. And Cirque might be forced forward because the ball's on the is. So they eliminate the crossfire in more ways than one. Quick headshots from Jacob. Looks like Armadeeps have done it. Looks like they forced that third map. Yes, very, very impressive. You can see EG has such a strong opponent once again going, but they look like they found a way. Tear down here. Bound to get flanked once again. Wants to find just anywhere to stand on the bomb side. It's not going to be possible. Jacob, third kill around here from the Norwegian player. Leaving Ethan and Breeze locked down on the ramp. Yeah, this is very impressive. They were in a lot of trouble here in the second half, and some of them didn't panic. They kept their cool, and it's really fantastic. He can get the kill, but should be no way here for easy. He's low on health, he's got almost no grenades to work with. JKS, he's trying to roll it down. Should be no trouble. 